Hello, as part of this uh, second video in uh, module 0, we will understand how exactly we can start practicing uh, Databricks. Uh, Databricks is definitely is not a free uh, tool uh, to get uh, practice. I mean, it, there is an enterprise edition for Databricks, uh, which will be uh, used in uh, all the companies in the organization level. But still, uh, you can uh, get some free trial so that you can practice uh, as a beginner, as uh, basically a learner, right? So in the previous video of module zero, which is the first video in the module zero, we have seen the introduction uh, of data data bricks. So if you are uh, not seen that introduction, I would recommend you to see this uh, previous video in the same playlist uh, to understand what exactly the data bricks and why why we are using data bricks, right? And uh, before exactly starting to the module one, so it is definitely important to understand uh, how can we start using the data bricks uh, to practice, uh, right? Otherwise, as a learner, uh, you cannot do the hands-on uh, session. So that's that's the reason that before I actually starting the data breaks, uh, we thought uh, we will let us let, let you people know uh, regarding uh, how can you activate the free installation or a free trial basically uh, to get started uh, and you can start uh, practicing as a beginner or a learner. So let's get started. So as you can see, Databricks uh, free trial uh, is uh, definitely it's uh, just a 14 14 days of a free trial. So it is uh, not a lifetime or it is not uh, having uh, months together. So it's just a 14 days of free trial. So make sure uh, when you are learning it, uh, so when you activate it, you dedicate it, uh, you dedicate some good amount of time working on that so that you can uh, make maximum utilization of it. And uh, definitely, it is not a production grade infrastructure. So the what you'll get in the databricks a free trial is uh, you will just get the limited uh, infrastructure uh, where the cpu memory everything uh, that the cluster memory everything what you'll get uh, will be uh, very less or we can say uh, what is required for the practice or the demo purpose and uh, you can definitely upgrade or cancel anytime when i say upgrade uh, in that case uh, you, you should be like uh, able to pay some a good amount of uh, uh, money as required uh, uh, for that particular subscription and uh, you can also cancel it uh, cancel anytime so within the 14 days free trial also and if you want to cancel uh, you can uh, definitely cancel uh, that subscription what you have taken from the data bricks right and also please be cautious uh, when the intention is to just utilize 14 days of free trial so uh, just be con uh, conscious that you are using uh, uh, not more than uh, 14 days and uh, I mean you will cancel once the subscription period is over and definitely don't worry Databricks will send a reminder uh, mails for you uh, informing that uh, the 14 days of free trial is going to end uh, so please make sure that uh, you will follow those mails uh, from Databricks and uh, cancel the subscription before the free trial or else there might be a chance where you you might get charged because it's a credit card based as you can see so it's a credit card based and there is a uh, uh, there might be a chance where you will get charged uh, after 14 days if you are kind of still utilizing some premium version you you activate some premium clusters there is a chance right so uh, this is a this is very important we should be very careful on that and uh, there is uh, definitely no upfront, upfront cost so you will not be charged uh, upfront uh, for using any resources uh, because within the free, free trial but uh, after the free trial if you are kind of upgrading or if you are kind of uh, using the infrastructure uh, which are uh, uh, which are which are uh, of uh, higher grade so then you definitely need to uh, uh, need to charge uh, I mean you will be charged and you need to pay from the whatever the credit card you have given during the activation of the free trial and uh, there is uh, if you are currently uh, there are two options to activate a free trial for, for Databricks one is uh, AWS marketplace if you are AWS user and uh, you'll be well aware of the AWS marketplace uh, so through that AWS markets uh, AWS marketplace you can uh, kind of uh, uh, activate the 14 day free trial of databricks and the second one is uh, through databricks only and uh, both the options uh, don't worry we will see in this uh, just uh, in a while we will see both the options right 
and uh, why exactly i mean where exactly we can use free trial right so this is best suited for a beginners and small uh, proof of concept that you are doing uh, to check whether uh, the data breaks is suitable for your requirement or not and if you are if you are a good if you are a learner and you are intended not to pay any amount so then definitely you can try out the data breaks uh, for uh, i mean using this uh, 14 day free trial so now let us see how exactly we can install uh, uh, or activate the free trial from Databricks. So there is a Databricks documentation. Uh, we will put this link in the description section in this video. But uh, definitely if you go to this uh, link, uh, so you, there is an option of sign up for a free trial. So there is a complete detailed uh, explanation that Databricks has given how exactly step by step you can follow to activate uh, the 14 day free trial. As uh, we have mentioned, uh, so there are two options. Uh, definitely it's a 14 day free trial and uh, if you want to use the AWS marketplace, uh, you can log into the AWS account uh, uh, with the purchaser role and then you can go to the marketplace, right? There is a series of steps uh, you can uh, follow. It's very uh, kind of uh, self-explanatory. You can follow the step and uh, you can easily uh, activate the 14 day free trial from AWS marketplace. And similarly, if you are not a AWS user and you still want to uh, activate uh, this free trial, so then you need to go to the uh, here there is a link you can click on this and uh, it will take to a page uh, where you should choose a cloud provider because Databricks itself is not uh, hosted in uh, any uh, independently hosted anywhere so the Databricks is hosted uh, using this uh, cloud providers uh, which are uh, major cloud providers in, the, uh, providers in the market today and uh, why are these cloud providers uh, you can activate uh, the Databricks and like uh, as you can follow the steps uh, there is a series of steps where you can activate uh, i mean uh, using any uh, cloud provider of your choice so once you uh, activate this uh, you will be able to see the databricks workspace uh, and uh, you can create a cluster and other options uh, so we will see in the upcoming videos hope this was useful thanks for watching